Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new YouTube video and today in this video we're talking about season 1 of Tarot God final review. This is a whole review of the anime, what I like, what I didn't like, that is it. If you're new around here make sure you like, subscribe, follow my social media as well because you like, if you like anime content like this and manga content in the future that I will cover in the future as well. I don't know why I repeated that twice but I will like mention that in my channel trailer coming out really soon. But enough of that fucking talk, and let's get straight on the video. So, in the season fire has dropped a couple of minutes ago, and I am going to tell you some couple of reasons that what I like about the show and what is bad and what is shit about the show. So, let's get straight on number one. Let's talk about the soundtrack for the anime. First off, the soundtrack is produced by Kevin Petkin. You might know know this per person somewhere or somewhere. You maybe have heard of their music somewhere. If you haven't. Watch Rising of the Shield Hero or the Made in Ambulus movie. The soundtrack came from there as well and it made the soundtrack for Tower of God as well. Uh, that is three popular series that is done. Man Made in Ambulus is a popular series I haven't watched but I have to check that out soon. Rising of the Shield Hero, I blimmin enjoy that. I can't wait for season two because season two is coming out next year I believe. And Tower of God, uh, that's what I finally re reviewing right now. And it is popular. But it ain't popular like them two are. For example, about the soundtrack and all of that, it fit in every scene. It fits perfectly. They have the right soundtrack in every single scene. Like especially with Anika's fight with against um Leopold Baren, that puffy dude in episode eleven or episode ten at the end scene. That you know when the soundtrack was playing, that worked perfectly. That sounded perfectly. That fits really perfectly with that fight scene it doesn't it doesn't like fit just that scene it fits in every single like scene in the anime the soundtrack fits with fits with every single scene every single episode there's nothing wrong with the soundtrack or anything like that so also speaking with about the music music and the soundtrack we got the opening and ending music it's produced by stray kids like a korean band like the first ever korean band actually done a opening and an ending for an anime show plus this is a korean manga it's called my heart my wa something like that the korean band hasn't like like i said hasn't like um done music for any anime openings this is the first time i think they're going to do a korean uh like music bands to with every single webtoons anime adaption in every single show and that but yeah that is like the like, that's i just love the music in an opening is very catchy. My friend uses them, um, RTL Faith, uses them as his um, outro with the ending. He doesn't get a copyright strike. He doesn't get any copyright strike or all of that. They're free to use, I think. <laughs> I do, I'm not, don't quote on me of that. But my friend hasn't got any copyright strikes or any copyright claims with that music. But in the anime, the character design was remarkable. It was a lot better than the art style in the chapters of the manga. Wow. Okay, if you compare the see look at chapter one and episode one, you could tell a big difference. I didn't I have nothing wrong with the manga art style. I think it's good in that, but the anime does it remarkably the better though. It does it very unique, very like so good. It makes it so good. It makes it so crispy clean and I fucking love it. The voice actors are perfect with every single character and scene. I can't say much about the dub because I haven't listened to the dub. I maybe watched one clip, but I haven't watched like the whole series in dub. Maybe watch that in dub and see like, maybe do a review on it or say, I'll do like a rant video on dub or like, I don't know. I'm gonna do like a, some sort of video of the dub version, but I don't know what. But every single voice actor has played a character from a popular show. Like, is it wrong to pick up a girl from the dungeon, One Punch Man, Demon Slayer, Slam Dunk, Boruto, and many more that you may might heard of there was an article on Crunchyroll. I'll put a link in the description if you want to read all the voice actors who plays the Tower of God characters. So let's talk about the animation art style. I think the art style is matches the manhwa and makes the anime feel closer than any other show ever done a different art style. And the fight scenes works with this new art style because every single like in the what's it manga you may have the imagination what happens in that and it with the anime it just it animates it completely and it is absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous the animation the fight scenes is absolutely 
gorgeous. Okay, let's talk about the two worst bad things that I hate about the anime in season one. I didn't hate 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 on it, but it's just the things I was like, ah, uh, I think they could do a little bit better in that in for season two and that. So the animation, okay, okay. The animation was good, but some points the animation was a bit bad. Like it happens to every single like anime. Not like the ones who has really good studios and that because they they are like on it because they only do like seasonal animes and that and they don't do long long like weekly uh shonen and that but some of like the animations are like bitch shit and some of them are like this oh you need to prove this or that and that and that. it's just a bit buffy but some of the animation is actually really good and really crispy clean i don't like complaining about like oh oh they need to fix it in every single scene it has to be perfect in that it's not i'm not saying that like they probably fix that in the blu-ray so i'm just saying that when it gets a blu-ray release or a dvd release they will fix the animation thing they just look around like oh we need to fix that we need to fix that and all that they will fix it with the blu-ray release and it looks 1080p crispy clean if you have the 4k edition it looks 4k crispy crispy clean because i've seen the tech on time 4k version and it app absolutely amazing absolutely amazing okay the final thing that oh, most people will complain about is the missing context and the missing info during this season hope season two doesn't miss this info doesn't miss this context just i hope they do it right for season two i know it could be budget reasons and now but i don't know what studio is doing in for tower god just let me know like in the comment section what um studio is doing it for because if this is like a really bad repetition studio that would like studio parry art i don't say some studio power animes just miss a lot of shit and change a lot of shit but i'm just saying not all the time they do this but i don't know it is like studio power art is animating this and that but it has been missing a lot of context but like for example you know annika the green lizard when you we learned about the backstory there was a lot of lots of missing and stuff through the manual I think got adapted to the anime is anime they maybe like reference it in season two or something I don't remember they getting the flashback or anything uh, like uh, talking about the mother or anything I don't know I've gone about season two I know in season three in the manga but I, I need to recap on that I see I'm gonna probably comment down below in the pin comments like see if that happens or not but that's just really it. it's just missing the info in that I hope they don't do it for season two if you enjoyed this video make sure you like subscribe and before this video goes, starts and goes in that, I am reviewing episode 1 of God of High School and the season final, like a season 1 review as well. Make sure you subscribe, turn the post notifications, follow my social media. I'm going to probably put my Discord down below and put in the pinned comments as well. See you in the next video. Peace out.